Well, welcome to this evening, and I'm real happy you're here. So the purpose of this uh, presentation is to help inform you as to how you can be healthier and how we can hold off, ward off the aging process and, and live longer, healthier, and hopefully happier. Okay? So I, I do this presentation because I like to. And I like, uh, my purpose and practice is help as many people as I can. So that's why I do it. So we're going to start with, uh, as a chiropractor, I've been in practice for 49 years now. And I've seen many, many different types of cases. And uh, I just uh, have learned a lot over the years. But the basic thing is understanding fundamentals. And the fundamentals uh, of health are basically only a few, but they're ignored in our society. So, as a chiropractor, I play a unique role in the health care of individuals that is not taught in most schools. The uh, Educational system today does not include chiropractic. As an example, uh, whenever I talk to uh, younger people, I ask them, had you ever heard of the word chiropractic in high school? Unless they were in the family or they've been treated, uh, it was a zero. It didn't come from the educational system. So part of my purpose is to help you with understanding so you can help others and yourselves. Okay? So that, that's, how we, that's how we begin. Okay? So I'm going to start off with a little diagram here that we have the birth process. When we, when we, our mom becomes pregnant, <laughs> okay, our body starts to develop. And it develops to a point, about approximately nine months later, to where we're born. And then at that point, we grow up and mature. Now once we've matured, we don't grow anymore, and then it's a matter of how long can we keep this mature, healthy state. Now, in this society, it's very common that once you start feeling the aging coming on, whatever it is, that it starts to do this, this action, <laughs> it goes down, until it's over. And there's not a whole lot you can really do about it. You just, we're taught to accept it. I didn't go to that school. I said that in this phase you're through here, there's, and even this one, we need to be learning as much as we can about health and what it takes to be healthy. So, what I'm talking about is taking it from here and going across and going this way and staying healthy and then it's over. <laughs> but at this point here, that's where the, the mystery comes in. People do not know what to do. Okay? Or actually, it actually starts back here. What do you do? Okay? Well, one thing is a lot more work. Once you get older, <laughs> Those of us know it takes sometimes more work to stay out there. And if you want to avoid this, you got more work to do. This was an easy ride <laughs> until your body wore out in some way that it caused this decline. <laughs> well, we want to prevent the body from wearing out 
so that we can keep this healthier state going as long as we possibly can. And that's what this talks about. <laughs> this. <laughs> okay? And the things that we may not know or are incorporating in our lives. Okay? So, one of the things as a chiropractor, we look at things differently, but I add a compliment to this. Because we, we look at things differently. We look at the body as to how, it, how, how, how it's moving. The one thing unique about a chiropractor is that we examine every joint in your spine. Every joint in your neck. Is that too hot there? Okay. Okay. So, the unique thing about what I do as a chiropractor complements what nobody else does. Okay. So, that point, it does play a big part in reducing aging. And we'll get into that in a little bit more, but that is a, a compliment that most people, and it's most lacking. In my earlier years, I never um, educated my patients well enough in this area. <laughs> so, I'm trying to make up for that. <laughs> now, one thing that uh, we look at to be healthy, what does it take to be healthy? Okay, so what would be the... Um, <clears throat> what do you need to know to be healthier? Any, any ideas? So, so if we want to be healthier... What to eat. Mm -hmm. So what you eat. Yeah. Absolutely. So... It's true. The foods you choose. What kind of water to drink? Yeah, and the water, Axel, very good. What was that again? Water. Water. Okay. Yeah. Environment. Your environment. Having a stress-free environment. Okay. So your environment. What else does it take? The best uh, way to exercise. Exercise. Yeah. Very good. Exercise. Okay, what else do we need to know and do? Whether or not we should get sun, how much sun we should get. Sunshine, that sounds good to me. I like that, okay. What else do we need to do? How about vitamins? Well, that would come in what you eat. You eat what you oh, okay. Eat. That would All be right. in, okay. in that category. Uh, how about what doctors do you see? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, uh, what doctor do you, do you see for what problem? Okay. Is there anything else we need to add here? Mental health. How to be mentally healthy. Mentally healthy. And not. Yeah. So, so that would be like happy, right? Yeah. Okay, I mean, I, I'll, I'll put that as happy. <laughs> okay. That works. Okay, what else do we, is there anything else we can think of here? So what you eat, your water, environment, exercise, sun. How to uh, detoxify the body. How to detoxify. Good point, okay. We'll put down detox. All right, that gives us a pretty good selection. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a lot to do. There is. So, some of the key things that in life, it, we didn't put it down here, but in life, sometimes we have misfortunes mm -hmm. called accidents. Mm -hmm. We've all heard of those and all perhaps been in those, okay? So, I'm going to put down to be, that's actually choosing what doctor to see, but an accident will affect your life, okay? And... What do you do 
when you get into an accident. I mean, it's, we have self-care, right? But sometimes understanding what involves in an accident is pretty important. So I'm going to start that because as a chiropractor, I deal with a lot of accident cases. I deal with a lot of different health problems people have. So I'm going to show you a basic thing about an accident that uh, affects anyone who's been in one. So it starts off with a bowling ball. <laughs> okay? Now I happen to have such a bowling ball right over here. This is a 12 pound bowling ball. Now what's unique about this bowling ball in our bodies? Our head. <laughs> the average head weighs 10 to 12 pounds. <laughs> this sits on top of your shoulders all day long. And you think nothing about it. And some people, particularly our kids today, which is very bad, they're doing this, looking at their computers all day long. Mm -hmm. This is deforming the neck when you do that. Now, an accident, where a, a typical accident, is where a person would get hit from behind and their head goes whop, whop, mm -hmm. back and forth. This heavy ball flips back as far as it can and this way in that period of time. A tenth of a second is the average whiplash. Hmm. Does that maybe damage the structures within the neck? Mm -hmm. And can that affect a person for life? Yes. It can and does. Been there, done, did that. <laughs> yeah. But who checks it out? Only the chiropractor. Okay? That, that we'll go through and check every joint in the neck, in the back, but in this case, <laughs> this sits on top of the neck and it goes whap, whap, that fast. So, what in the weight of the head, is it important, I mean, if you have no pain in the neck, that means you have no problem? No. 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 A lot of people, uh, after an accident, actually go into a certain degree of shock. And they don't feel it. But they know they're, some maybe feel normal, but they maybe not. Okay? Well, in the case of accidents, only, we'll go in and check every joint. Do you know how many joints you got from here to here? 33. Here are three joints. <laughs> okay? Now, the importance <clears throat> of handling a joint injury is the fact that sometimes a joint injury is worse than a broken bone. Mm -hmm. A broken bone will heal usually in six weeks, maybe eight. And then it's healed and it's done forever. No more problems, done. But if you injure a joint, not so not so. It takes as long as it takes, and in the neck's sake, you actually have to check every joint in there, the movements of every joint, to make sure it's moving correctly. Make sense? Mm -hmm. And that's where a chiropractor comes in. Because we're the only one to check it. Duh. <laughs> we're, when it comes to back injuries, chiropractic number one. That's right. Okay. So there's my spiel on chiropractic, okay? Yay, I'll put this bowling ball down. <laughs> All right. Now, <clears throat> the next thing is a pinched nerve. You ever heard of a pinched nerve? Now, by the way, you getting warm here? Uh -huh. Do we need to, what? I need to open pinch the door. Oh, no, I'm, I'm pinch we're fine. Nerve. Oh, pinched nerve. Oh. Pinched nerve. Now, I have a chart here that shows pinched nerves. This is the effect 
of spinal misalignments. On this side of the chart are a list of all of the symptoms. Well, not all of them, there's actually more. But a list of many symptoms that are caused by a pinched nerve in the neck or back. In this case here, a pinched nerve, the number one problem. Ever heard of headaches? <laughs> Headaches causes a lot of people problem, and they don't know what causes it or what to do for it. That's what I do as a chiropractor. Anyway, and there's all kinds of them here that are caused. So we have a, a whole, whole thing there that if you have any symptoms that's not going away, that's where I come in. All right? That's enough for right now. I got more to say. <laughs> <laughs> Now, let's take a look at exercise. Why do you need to exercise? Keep you limber. Keep you limber. Keep your physical tone up. Oxygen. Oxygen. Cleanse your lymphatic system. Cleanse your body. Absolutely. It's really rough once you get older to get younger. But if you're younger, and pre work towards keeping your health, it's a lot easier to stay that way. So those of us that have got a few more years know what I'm talking about. It takes more <laughs> to keep functioning properly. Okay, so exercise for keep the physical tone and your strength up so you can enjoy life longer. Very, very important. And it adds to this cycle here. You gotta be working out at least two, three times a week. Okay, good workout. Good sweat. How many, when's the last time you sweat? Huh? Every day. Every day. Okay, well. What's the last time you sweat? Oh, I sweat every day. <laughs> there you go. Sitting down. Even sitting down. Well, you don't have, you're lucky. You don't even have to work out. <laughs> Most of us have to work out to sweat. But this whole, this is a very, very important part. The sauna. The sauna bath is excellent. You know, there's a study done in Finland where they did uh, 10 or 20,000 Finlanders, they checked out. They did sauna baths every day. And then some of those that only did them maybe once a week, and so forth. Those that did every day had fewer degenerative diseases. Yeah. But I still, I'm very active and I do a lot of work and I'm always running around. But I still get that pain here on the back of my neck. Yes. That's where I come in as a chiropractor. We should check it out, Ray, and see what is going on there. We can do that after the class if you like. Or we can do it later. But the bottom line is, those things cause extra stress. And if you can reduce the stress in your life, you would do better. You'd do better. All right. So I just that point there. Okay. Another point we got here. What else would we like to do? Um, uh, would add to. Uh, how about uh, nutrition? Okay. What? What? What do you expect to get out of your? Your good food. Oh. What what do you need out of your food? So food. What 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 do you need to get out of your food to keep your body healthy? Your natural vitamins. You need vitamins. Okay. Oh. Minerals. Vites. Minerals. Proteins. Min minerals, proteins, fat, fat. What else? Carbohydrates. Carbos. Maybe you don't need much of those. Huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you need? Enzymes. Fiber. Enzymes. Fiber. Fiber. Antioxidants. Antioxidants. Phytonutrients. Phytos. 
<laughs> okay? Those are pretty well cover some ba basic stuff. Okay? Now, in our American diet, okay? Now, when it, let's take a look at Let's take a look at what does the most American diet consist of? Sugar, white flour, basically, that's a, or, Meat. or lard or fat. But predominantly sugar and, and uh, a flour. Okay? So, with the sugar or flour, how many vitamins? Are in white sugar in or flour? None. None. Oh, interesting. <laughs> How many minerals are in white sugar or flour? None again? Oh my gosh. All right. How about uh, proteins? No. In the wheat, yeah. We flour. white flour? Yeah, white flour. That's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. White white flour. White flour. No <clears throat> no protein. No. Okay. How about uh, uh, how much fat is in white flour or white sugar? None. 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 How about enzymes? None. None. By the way, do we know what enzymes are? We we mentioned this a couple times now. But enzymes are very uh, not understood. But enzymes are the life of this body. The older you get, the less enzymes you have in the body. Okay? The less enzymes causes a decline in your health. Okay? What foods that we should be consuming contain enzymes? Raw fruits, and raw, vegetables. Raw fruits and raw vegetables, raw meats or proteins. Raw honey. Raw honey. Raw honey. Okay. <laughs> what else? <laughs> That's about it. Raw, raw eggs. Raw greens. eggs. Well, your greens. Well, your greens would be your vegetables or make yeah. your grains. You could add yeah. those in here. But outside of that, the what do the majority of our American people eat? Everything has chemicals in it. Yeah, it doesn't consist of these enzymes, <laughs> no. which comes from raw food. Now, a baby or a child, the younger, has tons and loaded with enzymes. As we get older, it usually declines. And the reason it declines is because we stop eating vegetables, raw vegetables, raw fruits, okay, raw good foods. That's what we stop doing. And as a result, we shortchange our enzymes. Now, the most commonly known enzymes in the body are digestive enzymes. Okay, to help break your food down. Now, what do we do to supply these digestive enzymes? Well, you eat raw food because raw foods contain the enzymes. All your white flour, all your packaged goods, all your canned goods, and all the other stuff, no enzymes. So when you eat food that does not have enzymes, you give up your enzymes in your body to digest your food. And that's why they have long shelf life. That's right. Foods have a long shelf life because the enzymes are gone. The enzymes are totally gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if they were there, that's where the cans blow up and everything else. <laughs> they don't live. Okay? So, the, so when your body, you have to digest food to live. So your body will actually give up enzymes out of your muscles out of your liver, out of your heart, out of your bones, nerve system, whatever it's got to do to give up the enzymes to digest your food because you'll die quicker of not digesting your food. Mm -hmm. So the body compromises and gradually does that. 
the way you balance that out is you eat raw food. You put enzymes back in. You can supplement the enzymes, but it's better off your raw food. Green smoothies are fantastic and good thing. Okay? That's what he drinks every morning. That's a wonderful thing. What's that? Green smoothies. Smoothies. <laughs> your smoothies. Yeah. Your smoothies no. that you drink. You so anyway, that as far as the enzyme, I hope that helps in understanding. But you want to resupply your body with the enzymes and your body will do better and prevent this and go across the top. And they help, they help you heal injuries too. And healing yes, definitely, heal. totally, a healing goes directly along with that. Okay? Alright, so that was the enzymes we added. What else we could, what else uh, we uh, had here? We could put down... Um, antioxidants? Antioxidants. How many antioxidants in white sugar or white flour? None. Big zero! And this is our diet, American diet. Bum Bummer. Sodium, doctor. Well, how many kids are these days are, are not healthy? A lot of them, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. You can't eat fast foods and expect to be healthy. The nutrition isn't there. But this versus all the vitamins and all the minerals and enzymes and proteins that your body needs most every day to be healthy. Which do you choose? This or that? And it's a new concept, it's a new viewpoint if you want to stay healthy and then particularly if you want to stay healthy. <laughs> if you want to avoid the degenerative diseases, that's what we're going over. Now, here's a person that's standing. I'm looking for my pointer and I am out of a pointer here. Okay, here's a person who's standing and they have a pressure needle in their fourth lumbar spine. Yeah. Rebecca next for a massage? No? no. Okay. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Lock the door if you're when you leave. Or unless you stay. Okay. I'll Yeah, we're we're winding down. Okay. So here's the fourth lumbar vertebrae or disc. And they have a pressure needle in here. So we have in this disc right there. A needle that says there's a hundred pounds of pressure with this person standing in this position. So, what happens if we, this is now lifting properly. Lifting this box, <clears throat> we don't have a weight on it unfortunately, but notice when we lift properly the knees are bent, and so forth. The back is straight. Now, let's take a look at what the back is doing when you're lifting properly. Notice the back is not bending. It's one unit. Not this. Bending, not bending. Okay? So, that's a key part when you're dealing with lifting and long, you want longer lasting joints. You've got to have stability and the fewer moving joints in lifting of anything, mechanical things or not, the less likeliness you're going to have of having any trouble. So, we're going to go back to Lifting properly. Notice the weight goes to 350 pounds by lifting properly. Okay, so the pressure in that disc goes that high. Here's one way of lifting improperly. So not doing it right. And how many people have you seen lift this way? <laughs> 
Now, notice no bending of the knees or at all bending of the spine. Okay, notice this 800 pounds of pressure versus 350 by doing it normal. If you want your back to survive longer and do better, lift properly. Now, if a person has problems like that, don't lift that way. Definitely consult a chiropractor who will tell you to lift properly. <laughs> but this is one way of showing you. Here's what the spine look, looks like. Lifting improperly. See all those joints bend? You don't want that. Not good. So let's go back to lifting properly. <clears throat> there you go. Okay. So that in itself is very important. Let's take a look at one more thing of sitting properly. Okay. Now, over here, sitting properly would be sitting straight. Who sits up straight? Okay. Very important. Notice 100 pounds of pressure. Okay. Sitting properly. This is one way of not sitting properly. How many people sit like this or worse, but just in this little bend forward, notice the 200 pounds of pressure comes up. Why does the pressure go up so high when you lift something like this? It goes up high because what holds your back up? Your muscles. Now, your muscles have to balance and properly support your body 360 degrees around. And particularly if you bent forward, and there's more pressure in here, it's because the muscles here have to pull harder. Muscles only pull. And they pull this way to keep you from falling more forward. So, to sit up straight, very important. Now, if you cannot sit up straight, you have pain, any difficulty of sitting up, you need to see a good chiropractor who will find out what's wrong and what's going on in the back and find out what the problem is so we can talk about what can be done about it. Very, very important. Very simple, but very important. Okay? You have any questions? Because that's this is basically my talk and I wanted to present this with you. You have any questions? Nutrition questions? Anything. What do you think is the... Um, I've heard people say, speak against salt consumption and other people say it's really important. What would you say? Uh, you have to have salt. What kind of salt would you recommend and how much? A variety of good a good sea salt, a good salt that's loaded with minerals that has everything in it, not the white table salt where everything's been taken out of it. Sea salt is the best. And yeah. why, why, why do you need salt when some people say you don't need salt? It's more, it's more dramatically known if you live in the equator or close to the, in hotter climates. If you don't eat salt, <laughs> You got bad headaches, you got bad pains, you don't, you're exhausted, you, you just don't do well. Hmm. So a low salt diet, I mean if you have real high blood pressure and so forth, you, you, gotta, you may have to do other things before you, you got to balance this body out, but without salt, you die. <laughs> So what do you think are like one or two of the most important supplements for health and longevity? All of them. All of them? <laughs> all of them. You have like a top favorite? Or no, all of them. All of them. I went over over here the, what do we need out of our foods? I mean, like when you look at how many vitamins do we got to choose from? Okay, your body doesn't necessarily make the vitamins. That's why you need to put it in the body. You know, you add up, you've got vitamin A, and you got vitamin B, B1, 2, 3, and so forth. 
You have all these different. They're there for because we need them. So all of them are essential. And in a healthy, raw state, uh, cooked is okay too. It depends on how well you do it. But you want more raw, lots of enzymes, lots of vegetables. The more, the better. How many people in this society do that? Not many. Okay. Any other question? What do you think about chocolate? Is chocolate good for you? Tastes great. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, chocolate is a real good uh, stimulant. Yeah. I mean, it's good. Chocolate. You know, chocolate is like yeah. the uh, love element. It just it just makes you feel good. Okay, but too much can be too much. Mm -hmm. And if you have chocolate, you want good stuff with, you don't want a whole lot of, sh if you can replace with not having the, all the sugar in it, you can replace it with other things, but you, usually the, the more sugar, the better for chocolate. But, you know, how about we... Um, milk. Well, hang on, I'll get to milk in just a <laughs> second. <laughs> but as far as the chocolate, you have... It, it's a quality. It's what you, you know, nothing wrong with a little pleasure now and then, okay? Mm -hmm. But overdoing it, that's the key thing. Now, you mentioned milk. What about milk? With the chocolate? <laughs> I drink a lot of milk. Okay. Well, ideally, you don't drink a lot of milk or any milk. The milk, the milk, if you've ever read a book called The China Study, okay? Have you ever read The China Study? By the book, The China Study by T. Colin Campbell, okay, and it gets into milk as one of the key uh, aspects that causes cancer. And it causes a mucus within the body, okay, which is you want to avoid and get off of that. You want to substitute it, like get um, almond milk or uh, have varieties of different Coconut. different kinds. Huh? And delicious. Coconut milk. Coconut milk. Absolutely. I'm like two percent. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> read, read the China Thank study, you. and you'll understand more about how that. Uh, oh, okay. How, how that works. And I'm more than happy to explain later to you also. Yeah. But th these are these are key key things. But avoid the milk. Okay. It creates a lot of calcium too. No. It created calcium around his sister's heart. Bad, yeah. Bad calcium. Yeah, really but the really bad calcium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Avoid the milk. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because it's interesting that the United States <clears throat> is the largest milk consumers in the world. Right. We have the highest rate of osteoporosis mm -hmm. in the road in the world, which means the bone system is losing its bone. Oh. Your bones have less bone, and they get weaker and weaker, and they crumble easier. Mm -hmm. Which is why seniors, when they fall, they usually break bones rather than just fall and get back up. One of the things I recently found out <clears throat> that was very interesting is that in the United States, the dairy cow, each dairy cow produces twice as much milk as they did in the 50s. And the amount of dairy cows that we have in the United States has dropped by half. Mm. So each cow, if you want to talk about how much minerals and how much nutrition is in the milk, then each cow is not producing, they're producing more milk, but they're, the milk is less nutritious. They're giving them too. chemicals to produce more. They Correct. do yeah. that with the, the chickens too. So you're getting a lot more fat and you're getting yeah. a lot more water and you're getting right. a lot more the, like basic things like right. maybe protein in the milk, but you're not getting the minerals. No. And that's what a lot that we want, you know, because those cows are, they're producing twice as much as right. they should be producing and the foods they're eating are not going to be as nutritious either as exactly. they used to be. Exactly. So when you, you know, when my parents were young, the milk that they were getting is so different than what we're getting today. We had our own cows. Yeah. Our own chickens. Yeah. We had <laughs> raw milk, so we're not even getting the enzymes and the bacteria that mm. we're yeah. Yeah. But exactly. I also yeah. drink uh, lemon water. Mm. Sure. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> A lot of drink. <laughs> so, we, we, there's so many different ways and things we could talk about in these yes. areas. Okay. Yeah. But being healthy, if you want to be healthy, 
You want to cut the white sugar. You want to cut the white flour or any flour, matter of fact, as much as you possibly can. Okay. You want to cut added oils to your diet. You want to take what comes naturally. Okay. And if your diet uh, is correct, you'll have all the natural oils in your diet. Okay. But it's we're way over doing it in regards to our added oils to the foods that we're we're consuming. And you notice that this country particularly is pretty heavy. <laughs> okay? Right. And that's a not good thing. And you hear nobody doing anything about it. The sad part is the children. Yeah. The children are so overweight. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, the, these points that I brought out to you, I feel are uh, pertinent. Uh, they're not the only points, but they're, I feel, some of the major points that mm -hmm. are critical to your being healthy. And I, I welcome you to have, any, if you have any questions, you please call, uh, call me up. I'm more than happy to talk to you. Come in the office, we talk more. One more question before we end it. What's the best way to detoxify the body? Because I heard there's a special way to detoxify the body if you take a lot of niacin, B3, and then go into a sauna. Have you heard about that? Well, there's so many ways of detoxifying. You're, anytime you're going to start detoxifying and you add one thing, like niacin is wonderful for stimulating and expanding your arteries and capillaries to get better circulation. However, if you don't have the balance of all of the vitamins and minerals that the niacin will offset, see, then in the long term it's not good. You got to have a balance. If you're going to take, um, like if you took a lot of B1, you got to make sure you add your uh, calcium and vitamin C because it causes an imbalance in your body. You got to have a balance. So if you just took the sauna, fine. <laughs> but if you start adding one particular thing for long, it creates an imbalance. You create an artificial imbalance in the body. And once you put it in your mouth, your body has no other choice but to handle it in any way it can. And sometimes we don't like the way it comes out. Okay. Any other questions? Do you want to live forever if you could? live forever <laughs> that'd be a wonderful thing but you know when i was younger versus now and if i look at how i would be in another hundred years well i won't be as I, for what i've seen i wouldn't be as spry <laughs> as long as i was doing well i wouldn't mind it as long as i was doing well yeah. okay but if i start really slowing down i wouldn't like that Let's say you're as only valuable to your fellow mankind or friends as you can help them. Right. Okay? So your helping others is key to your happiness and survival. But once you can't help anybody, then what's the point? <laughs> it gets kind of lonely. Anyway, that's How just... How do you feel omega-3? Omega-3 is vital. That mm -hmm. comes with that good good diet. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. Well, I appreciate you attending tonight's uh, uh, presentation. I had fun. I hope this was imparting for you mm -hmm. and uh, helpful. And hopefully, you can tell your friends, if anyone else you know that needs to get healthier. Chiropractic yeah. help. <laughs> yeah, just come in for a viewpoint. You can invite your friends in for a free consultation. Mm -hmm. I'd be more than happy to talk to them. Yeah. Because I'll, I'll give them a different viewpoint. See, my part is not to sell you on how to be healthy. Mm -hmm. My part is to educate you so that you know what to do and know what you want. Exactly. You know, that's the thing missing in our society. People who have health problems don't know what they need. Exactly. They don't know who to talk to. Anyway, your health is totally up to you mm -hmm. and your decisions. So, 
that's the whole thing with our health movement that we have, our health foods, uh, uh, the nutrition, chiropractic, is how to be healthier, mm -hmm. how to share with others. Right. And that's my presentation. And again, uh, thank you very much for being here. And I'm uh, more than happy to talk thank to you. you later if you'd like to know yes. more. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank right. you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.